Hey, so I did an experiment. I wanted to see how far an old under spec machine would go in Fusion 360. And I wanted to see exactly where it fell down with Fusion 360. Building parts, doing surfacing, doing assemblies, whether running cam, things like that would matter. So what I found actually kind of surprised me. So let's take a look at the areas that you might be able to get by with less of a powerful machine. And let's see five areas where it really matters. Here we go. So for our less than ideal computer, I've got my old 2013 MacBook Pro. And this is an awesome machine as a family machine for browsing the web and doing business things. But for running Fusion, I wanted to see if it would keep up. And then for the top end, we have a Dell Precision 7750. This was sent to me by Dell to review and show on this channel. So appreciate the support from Dell and excited to see the comparison. The MacBook Pro is a 2013 model. It's got a 2.4 Intel Core i5. It's got dual cores up to 2.9 gigahertz, just a little bit of RAM, four gigs of RAM, and an integrated graphics card. The Dell Precision, on the other hand, has an Intel Xeon 10855M with six cores up to 5.1 gigahertz boosted. It then has 64 gigabytes of RAM. It has a dedicated graphics card and an NVIDIA RTX 5000. So with my older MacBook, I was able to open this large assembly. Not very fast, mind you, but I was able to open it and move it around, find a part and make a change. I was able to start a part file, do a pattern. I was able to do this you know, a little bit more complicated part with, you know, some sketches and features, the dimensioning, everything worked fine, um, was able to do some basic sheet metal, but it was really here where it started to struggle, where I noticed longer load times as well as some of the other features that were a challenge. So this first one probably won't surprise you. Assemblies are an area where a smaller or older machine probably will start to struggle, especially as you add components and bodies into this larger assembly. I noticed on my old MacBook that the rotation and display challenges started to stall out as well as, you know, editing and trying to, you know, perform operations in the assembly. But I will say, surprisingly, it did okay in managing this assembly. So creating drawings from an assembly can be pretty process intensive. Again, you're effectively opening and using that assembly data and then bringing that into a drawing. This is where I saw a distinction from the Dell Precision Laptop to the older MacBook. So for the drawing scores um, on the Dell, I was performing this basic drawing creation in roughly one minute and five seconds. The Mac was scoring closely at one minute and 35 seconds, but I will call out this is still a fairly lightweight assembly. And as we get into larger assemblies and drawings, you'll probably start to see an even larger distinction between the two uh, machines. Number three, simulation. I was actually surprised on this fairly simple simulation study that my MacBook and the Dell were fairly close. Um, I would expect that as I started to do more complex meshes with uh, long, thin parts or just more complexity with the assembly and the bodies involved that I would expect to see a pretty big disparity between the two machines. But for this study, they were pretty close. Number four, cam simulations as you might guess when it comes to generating your tool paths or generating the simulation um, that can be process intensive as i start this out so to run through this with my old macbook it took approximately three minutes to regenerate the simulation and the dell precision came in at 36 seconds to run through this uh, regeneration of that simulation and number five, rendering. So I set this to a 4K rendering export and set to a simple front view 
and did a local render. So if we run this right now, you can see I'm, of course, not leveraging the cloud render, but instead setting this roughly to a 4K setting, doing a local render for both machines. So the scores, let's look, the Mac came in at seven minutes for that local render. The Dell was a much faster one minute to create that local render. So to wrap it all up, I was pleasantly surprised with how well my old MacBook Pro did. That being said, I love using the Dell Precision. I love using a machine that's designed to run Fusion 360 and other CAD solutions. Um, I've used this Dell to run SolidWorks and to run uh, very large assemblies and it does a great job. There's no way that my MacBook could keep up with that workload. I hope this basic testing and results were helpful for you if you are trying to make decisions on what kind of computer do you need to run Fusion 360. And let me know in the comments down below what kind of testing, what kind of feedback, what kind of advice do you need when it comes to your computing needs with Fusion 360.